Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nalit Maida for all those who don't know me. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And thank you so much for tuning in once again on another video with me. We're still um, in Vlogtober, so welcome to another episode of Vlogtober 2024. I think this should be episode four. Yes. Welcome to episode 4 of Vlog Tour 2024. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are so kind in the comment section. Like, I see that you guys definitely love the consistency and I'm keeping it up, child. Like, I, I pray, I pray I do not lose this consistency because it feels good. <laughs> but anyway, um, as you guys see, can see by the title of this video today we are doing a get ready with me i definitely love for it to be a three-part get ready with me where i'm doing my makeup um I'll show you guys my outfit and then i'm also doing my hair with you guys so hopefully we'll do all three parts but anyway without wasting any more time let's get into the video i'm just having coke I'll just be having coke while I do my makeup. Cheers. Oh, mm. Tastes good. As you guys can see, I already did my brows off camera. I really don't like doing my brows on camera because I just feel like do brows like i never i never never like my brows i try to do my brows that suit my face but to be honest i never really like how i do my brows so that's why i always just do them off camera but i think we we really tried today what do you guys think we definitely tried and i also prepped my face um i don't really use primer I just do my normal um skincare, like my normal everyday skincare, and then I also just go in with a sunscreen. I'm currently using the Every Sun. Definitely love this girl. Please don't mind my nails. I'm so sorry to come on camera with nails like this. But after after this video, I bought uh stick on nails, so I'm going to be sticking on these nails. I'm going to remove these. I'm going to file out these and put in my stick on nails. So yeah, let's get into the, let's get into the video. I don't know what to talk about actually as I'm doing makeup because it's definitely going to be very awkward just doing my makeup with nothing to talk about. I actually thought about it this morning that I could have just put up a poll on instagram and ask you guys questions that you want me to answer and maybe it was gonna be a bit more interesting you know but that's okay i'll remember to do that next time oh i remember to do that next time i'm loving my skin so much like these days oh my gosh Oh my god, my skin has really been doing so good and I think I will plug you guys with the new products that I'm currently using because I definitely feel like those products upped my skin, you know? My skin was never this lovely. I never really have skin problems, but my skin has never been this good. This good? Mm -mm. And then after putting my sunscreen, I just like going in first before I even put makeup. I like going in with the fix and last 18 hours fixing spray. I know this is like your setting spray, but I just love using it for, can you guys see? I hope it focuses. I just, there we go. I just love going in with um, the spray before i actually do my makeup i just feel like oh i just feel like the makeup lasts longer so yeah and then i'm gonna blow dry that out just let it 
a dry and then for foundation i'm currently using the remel london lasting finish 35 hour hydration boost it has spf 20 and i'm in the shade 450 caramel i'm currently obsessed with this girl guys i'm so sorry i've been struggling with the focus of my camera but yeah i'm currently using that so let's go in with the foundation um my brushes are so dirty please don't come for me okay i just always go in with one pump first and blend that out and then once i'm satisfied with how i blended the first um layer of foundation then i'll go in again with the second layer that's also if i want like a full full um uh, that's if i want um a full coverage glam you know so i just love um layering the foundation like that with the brush and then going over with the sponge i don't know i i just feel like i can never get used to i can never get used to um using a brush only for my makeup honestly i just i just love the feel of using a beauty blender it just feels like it's packing everything together like i don't know if i'm making sense but it just feel like it just feels like it's, you're packing everything properly together on your skin or on your face with the brush i don't know and a lot of makeup girlies actually love brushes i don't know i'll just give it a try sometimes and see if i don't like it maybe i'll be hooked there we go like you don't even need to do much with this foundation i swear it was made for me because i do not need to do much and then just go over on my forehead anyway i just wanted to touch base on uh, campaigns because i feel like well not i feel like some of you guys have been um asking me in my dms how how am i getting um campaigns and stuff and i just honestly feel like where i am right now i feel like i still need to put in work like i it just seems like i'm not doing much i need to put in work and get more paid um campaigns than gifted campaigns because the truth is most of the campaigns that i do they are gifted yes i i do also have like pr campaigns paid partnership like totally paid partnerships and that is great but i also still accept um gifting uh campaigns because the reason i'm still accepting gifting campaigns is because i just feel like i still need to build my brand like i'm honestly not there yet. i'm not there yet to the point where i'm not there at the point where i can reject um a gifted campaign i don't think i'm there yet and the day i'm there i'm definitely not going to settle for any gifted campaign or anything i'll literally just be strictly doing um paid collaborations because we need to pay bills okay we need to pay bills so of course you need to prioritize the bank honestly speaking and then um so to highlight i'm currently using this la prayer what is it la girl pro concealer when i started doing my makeup i started with this girl and and honestly this was the best concealer i have ever tried i don't want to lie so i just thought let me go back to this concealer because like it treated me good man my makeup was always on point even as a beginner it didn't really feel like not feel but it didn't look like i'm a beginner makeup um girl you know so i'm currently loving this girl so much it's easy to blend it doesn't crease like i'm just i'm just loving her honestly i'm just loving her 
okay and then we highlight here by the chin and of course by the forehead and the nose bridge i think i want to put a little bit more under my eye there we go so as i was saying guys um with campaigns it just honestly according to me i just feel like i want to i want to get to a certain level before i reject um gifted campaigns i can't now not do gifted campaigns and i'm not even that girl any yet yeah. i'm not even that girl yet so i need to build you need to build a brand you need to build a solid brand for you to start now prioritizing only um paid collaborations of course we want the money we want to pay bills and stuff but you need to start somewhere like you need to be really realistic as a person and honestly just start somewhere oh i'm loving this brush so much especially when blending out uh, my highlight it just it just does the job can you guys see that it literally just does the job but so far with campaigns i've really i'm so proud of myself because i've really just been getting campaigns not left right and center but it's not like before like right now i see what i'm doing i see the vision and i totally want to put in more work into the vision so that i reach the goal that i ultimately want to um reach you know i really hope i'm making sense because it just feels like I'm rambling honestly but the point I'm trying to make is that if you want to be an influencer or a content creator when it comes to campaigns you must start somewhere take all of those gifting campaigns and build a brand with those gifted campaigns even if they're not paying you just know the ultimate goal of you accepting those um, gifted uh, campaigns the goal is for you to build a brand and as soon as you have built a brand, then you can start looking at like your gift, um, not gift card, man, your red card, your uh, media kit and stuff. That's if you are now confident with the brand that you have built, because you can't go out there to the market and demand to be paid, even though when you yourself, you can't trust, like you're not really happy with the work that you're currently producing or giving your audience. So you must really be sure of where you are with your brand i think that's what i'm currently learning hence i'm also not fussy about paid collaborations and gifted i still do accept um gifted collaborations i actually like them so much because they don't have much pressure you know when these campaigns are actually paying you to review a product or to create content with their product y'all but but I'll do Lamona every day. Kurinje, as soon as the product arrives at your house, already girls are never with content. And I'm just like, guys, do you guys realize I just received this product literally yesterday? Like, relax, you know? But I'm so grateful for God for actually giving me the opportunity to be able to work with um, certain brands. I've recently been working with Take A Lot on a paid. Um, collab and i couldn't believe it guys i couldn't believe that a pr manager went on my instagram and just thought this girl could literally give us the content that we want and they chose me for that campaign because they saw the potential in me and i was so excited i'm still am i still am excited with that campaign even though i'm done with it because that was like one of my biggest um paid collaborations that i've ever done since i've started taking content creation a bit more serious that was like the biggest so um after highlighting i've just learned a new trick nowadays that i feel like it works best for me especially with um the creasing under my eyes so i you can use um any compact powder that you have i'm currently loving the la girl pro face um pressed powder even a compact powder will definitely do the trick so after blending in this is what i do you take your blending brush you blend 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 make sure that there are no creases at all 
you blend under your eye like so and then after blending do not look down and then you take your pressed powder you tap tap with a sponge or whatever that you'll be using and then you press your concealer in like that you press your concealer in like that before you set it i just feel like it really uh you press it like that i just feel like this method i saw the american girl is doing it and i was like i definitely want to try that and my eye does not crease that much anymore it does just a little bit well also depending on how long i wear my makeup it still does crease but it's like small small crease it's not as bad as before and then this is how your um under eye should look it also just leaves this flawless finish um under your eye Ooh, what am i doing i forgot i'm using the, the thingy the brush but anyway i'm just going to blend out the side and powder press that in like that press it in so any areas that you're highlighting definitely go in with a pressed powder before you're going to put your baking powder or your your translucent powder i honestly just feel like it leaves a flawless finish you know so my creasing under my eyes these days are like literally minimal i still crease but it's like small small creasing so i'm currently loving this method you can try it yourself as well if you struggle from um creasing under eyes and then after doing that now you're gonna go in with your absolute translucent powder whether you're using a banana powder or translucent powder totally up to you i'm still loving this translucent powder from Miyagi. you just take small small powder like that and you also press it in to keep your concealer in place the whole day depending on how long you're going to wear your makeup you can you can either bake or just press it like that i don't like baking because i just feel like it leaves my under eye looking all ashy and gray i don't know maybe i'm not doing it correct but so far it leaves my under eye looking ashy so we're just going to do that and leave it at that and then now let's contour the face um for contouring i'm using those revlon color stay um uh, skin awakening concealer in the shade 078 i'm in the shade 078 it's quite dark so I put small, small here by the bridge of my nose. I don't apply the concealer all the way down because whatever product I put at the top, I just drag it down as I, I blend it in. And then I also put some on my cheekbones and then some on my forehead, just like that. And then we're going to blend it in. Okay. So as I was saying, guys, if you want to try out influencing or content creation, like, you must do it. Stop thinking about it too much. Stop convincing yourself that, oh my gosh, I don't have a camera. I don't have this. I don't have that. If I can tell you now that I'm still, like right now, currently, I'm filming with my iPhone 11 Pro Max and honestly i'm still happy with my quality but if i had the funds to upgrade my phone i was definitely going to do so so you really don't need to have a camera you really don't need to have a camera or anything even though of course as a content creator eventually that's what you should aspire to have and work on having but start with whatever you have i think with any sort of with any company not even company with any business you start with what you have guys you honestly just start with what you have and you work your way up so yeah 
Okay. And then I'm going to use this angled brush to just blend in the nose. So this is what I meant that I don't put much product on the nose because I won't be able to blend it out properly if I put a lot. So I just put some small, small product by the bridge of my nose. And then as I blend, I drag it down like that. Just like so. Okay. I think I love the contouring um, step of makeup because it just brings out everything together. Like, you know, when you're doing makeup and in your head, you just like, trust the process, trust the process. And then as soon as you get to contouring, now the vision is clear. You can literally see why, why, what you're doing. So, yeah. Then I'm just going to dust off the powder because I don't want to leave it for too long. I realized that when I leave it for too long, it makes me look ashy so i just dust that off as i blend the contouring with the highlight so i don't have any like harsh lines just like that <laughs> okay I will always go in with a beauty blender guys like i will always just go in with a beauty blender it just makes me feel like i'm compacting everything in my face and it just literally makes sense for me like that and then just to set the contour i've been been using this hermosa flow um palette it doesn't even have the 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 thingy what is this the artwork anymore the way it's so old gorgeous Mbali definitely did a thing with her makeup line oh my gosh she did a thing for makeup girlies so i just go in with that just to set my contour also on the other side just to make sure that my contour is set like that and then set the nose as well okay and then i also love oh something in my eye i also love using this pink and peach shade i just mix them together um and create like a very nice shade of blush and honestly i've been loving it i've never really used um a blush like a product specifically for brush for blush so i've just been using this eyeshadow palette to set my contour and for my blush and the glitter highlight as well i've used i've been using a shade from this palette so it's quite useful hey it's quite useful i'm loving it there we go and then just to add a little bit of shimmer here by the cheeks and then on the other side as well just some small small shimmer is that enough okay Go in with a beauty blender again. Nee. Yeah, I think that's it. And I'm gonna go in with the um, setting spray again just to set my entire face. And then once the setting spray is done, I'm going to do my 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 eyelashes. I'm going to put some mascara on the eyelashes into um, my lips. So let's do that. <laughs> That feels good okay 
Hey guys, I'm back. I did my, I put mascara and did my lips off camera and I think I like this look. Don't mind my hair, it was cold last night guys and I slept with the colds. Now they look like I'm a crazy person, but I'm just gonna try and make it work and also probably refresh the curls. I wanted to do that Miss XO look. If you follow Miss XO's channel, you will know that she usually does this like beautiful, okay, messy curls with bobs, and they literally look so stunning on her. So I want to try something like that today and see if it comes together or not. I probably need to curl the front a bit. I think I want to curl the front a bit. Yeah, I think I want to revive the front a bit. Let me go off camera to revive the front a bit but i'm sure you guys can probably see the kind of look i'm going for ne? it's coming together ne? <laughs> yeah let me go off camera and then i'll come back what do you guys think i don't think it's that bad it's just that it, this week also it's not the best quality wig especially the closure i know the bundles were like good quality bundles but the closure shampoo but i think we tried it's not bad me. it's not it's not that bad do you guys think it's bad way bad I think it's gonna look nice on pictures because I'm usually doing all of this for just pictures. So yeah, I think for pictures we did good. So yeah, let's get um dressed and I'll close up this video. Hey guys, oh my gosh, the lighting is so bad. The lighting is so so bad. But anyway, I decided to go with my hair like this. I think it just works much better like this. I didn't like that bubble boom that was going on there. I just feel like it was literally not working. My, I know my hair today is literally just a mess, but this is just for pictures. Trust me, on pictures it's going to look good. Trust me, trust me. Trust me on this one. I'm wearing these earrings that I got from Shein. So now we're just doing the part three, which is outfit, and then I'm closing off this vlog. So I'm wearing these earrings from Shein. I'm wearing this bangle from Mr. Price. This gold clash bag from Mr. Price. I'm wearing this cute dress that I got from Thrifting the other day. I got this cute dress from Thrifty. And I'm wearing these uh, wages that I got from it's the price and that is the outfit of the day okay and that is the outfit of the day thank you so much for watching until this far okay let me close off this video thank you so much for watching until this far i really hope you guys enjoyed this three-way um get ready with me please let me know in the comment section if you guys would like me to do more of this and i'll definitely hop into it but anyway oh also i did my nails remember when i started the video i had like pink nails and i was like going to file them out and put the stick on I did exactly that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching until this far. I will definitely see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below anything cute. But most importantly, please don't skip the ads. Okay. Bye. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.